With the advent of Moto2 and World Grand Prix Racing, the transition from two strokes to four strokes is almost complete. Only the 125s remain. Honda and Moriwaki have joined forces to create the four-stroke Moriwaki MD250H, the most viable replacement for the 125s on the market today. And the USGPRU has created a spec class to showcase these new machines. Coverage of the USGPRU is brought to you by Honda, the power plant of the USGPRU's spec Moriwaki class. And Moto Liberty. Rising Sun Cycles, Pilot Leathers, and Yo-Yo Dye. Um, I've been racing motorcycles since I was three and a half. I started out dirt tracking on a PW50 and then I raced 65s and 85s until I was about 10 and then I just started on the Milwaukee's about two years ago doing road racing with Weira and now I'm with the SGPRU. I've been racing motorcycles since I was six and I was racing them in England um, for five years. I was racing grass track, it was a 65 CC engine and I was champion twice and then I went to 85s and I was champion once. Hey, I started at five years old but I had a crash with my dad in the street so I started again like when I was 14. Footsteps step two. I'm from Colombia. I, I raced over there one year, and then I'm, I came here and I'm racing USGPRU and CCS. Amarawaki is a it's a race bike with a 250 Honda motocross engine, and it's a four-stroke. And they started a class four here at USGP, USGPRU, and they're paying money for the top fives, and it's a really good class. 125, it's two stroke, it's a little bit more faster in times and in, in, in motor. And the 250 is a four stroke and it's a really nice class and it, the bikes are, ha, has to be stuck, so it's really, really nice. This is an excellent start for a 12 year old. It's a, a one make series, so the bikes are very controlled. They all make the same power, they're all running the same gear. So it really is a good apprenticeship for kids. They can get in and prove themselves. It's not a question of purely money or tuning or any other help. It's easier to ride than a 125. I had a lot of trouble with the 125 season up and these don't like spit you off when it walks up or whatever. You don't have to work on them as much as 125s. Like 125s you have to strip them down after every race. So, and these are a lot easier, I think. This has been excellent so far. If you keep on top of the oils, the filters, and check the valve clearances, these bikes are very, very reliable. Um, when, you're a, when you're a happy mechanic like I am, you're actually sitting here getting bored at races because uh, you like to play and fettle. With the 125 bikes, you're always fettling. This year, I got all the four-stroke stuff figured out, and the engines are working good, and. The bikes do just about everything that I wanted to. I'm on my second season and it's the original engine. If they're getting into road racing and they're looking at the 125 class or something, they should definitely try one of these. And I don't, I like these a lot more than the 125s. I like how there's a lot of people you can race against and it doesn't matter where you are, there's someone always your speed to challenge you. Yeah, it's really tough. You need a lot of like a lot of tough decisions to get the throttle fast or not or brake more more deep and everything and the way it's like a really really big influence in you. 
I'm sure these siphon bikes or the next derivative of these bikes will take over the 125s. I'd like them to make the mind up so that we can focus on my boy's racing career because obviously it makes more sense to race what's going to be out there on this grid in three, four, five years time. I wanted to join the MotoGP and hopefully be as good as Rossi. I'm racing these for about one more year and then we're testing the 600 and so I think I'm work we're going to ride that for a couple years before. I definitely want to go to the MotoGP or overseas and do something, but if not, def definitely be racing in the AMA in the top with the top guys. <laughs>